Welcome to the Foundational Mathematics Program at Nevada State College. My name is Aaron Wong and I am the coordinator for this program. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to how the program works so that you can fully understand what you're getting yourself into. Before we begin, I'd like to discuss what the goals of remediation are here at Nevada State College. First, we want to equip you with the necessary arithmetic and algebra skills to succeed at college level math and science courses. Second, we want to provide you a solid intellectual foundation of mathematical reasoning that can be applied to any class. And third, we want to increase the level of self-confidence in students when it comes to working with numbers and algebraic concepts. For me, the third is the most important. College graduates should be comfortable with both arithmetic and algebra to a level where they don't shy away from it every time it comes up. The structure of our foundational mathematics program at Nevada State College is as follows. We have taken the courses and broken them up into six different five-week modules. The reason for the five-week modules is that we believe that it provides students the best opportunity to learn the content. It is far better for students to focus and concentrate on a small chunk of material to make sure they learn it well, rather than to drag them through a whole lot of material and hope they pick up enough pieces to pass an exam. Each module is pass-fail and you cannot proceed to the next one without passing the current one. At the end of every module, students are assigned to new classrooms and new instructors depending on whether they passed or failed. We have set this up so that your classroom and instructors may change, but the time of the class will not. We have done this for the benefit of all of our students, but especially the students who work so that they don't need to continuously request new schedules from their employers. Even though every class is only two modules long, students can take up to three modules per semester. By doing this, we offer two different routes. For students who are able to pass all the modules in sequence, we are actually offering the courses at an accelerated pace, but only charging you for a regular class. And for students who require the full semester to learn the content, you are learning it at the normal pace without having to pay anything extra. By doing this, we are able to offer a number of different tracks to success depending on the student. One aspect of the system is that it sometimes causes confusion about enrollment and grades. So the next few slides are going to help you to understand how this works. You will enroll in classes based on the module that you are in at the beginning of the semester. So this means that if you are in modules one or two, you enroll in Math 93. If you start in modules three or four, you enroll in math 95. And if you start in modules five or six, you enroll in math 96. You will earn an A for the class that you are enrolled in when you complete the course. Completion of the course means passing the second module of each pair. If you start in modules one, three, or five, you must pass two modules during the semester to earn an A. If you start in modules two, four, or six, you only need to pass one module during the semester to earn an A. And if you fail to accomplish either, you will receive an F for the class. Completed modules from past semesters will carry forward into the new semester regardless of your grade. For example, let's consider sample student A. Sample student A placed into Math 93 from the placement exam and starts in Module 1. Since he is starting in Module 1, he enrolls in Math 93. Now let's say that he passes Modules 1, 2, and 3 all during the first semester. The student has earned an A for Math 93, and the work done for Math 95, which is Module 3, is applied to the next semester. In the spring semester, because he's starting in Module 4, he will enroll in Math 95. Now let's say Module 4 causes him some struggle. He fails the first try, passes the second try, and then moves on to Module 5, but then fails Module 5. The student will still receive an A for the class even though he failed two modules that semester. The reason is that he has completed Math 95, which ends at Module 4. And therefore, the student will receive an A for Math 95. In the summer semester, he will enroll in Math 96 because he's starting in Module 5. And let's say he passes Module 5 and then passes Module 6 after two attempts. He will receive an A for Math 96. An interesting feature about the Foundational Mathematics program is that this student did not receive a single F for any of his remedial classes, despite the fact that he failed three modules. This benefits students for financial aid purposes because they are not as likely to receive failing grades for
for the math class is, yet we are still delivering the same high quality content to all of our students. Sample student B has also placed into Math 93. During her first semester, she has completed all three modules. For the exact same reasons as before, the student will receive an A in Math 93. Let's say that in the spring semester, she continues being successful and passes modules 4, 5, and 6. In this case, she will receive an A for both Math 95 and Math 96. Furthermore, we've made arrangements with the financial aid department and the registrar that if a student is able to pass all six modules in two semesters, we would not charge them for Math 96. This means that you received nine units worth of content and paid for only six. In order to pass a module, one of two different standards must be met. The first standard is to receive 70% or better in each of the following categories, attendance, homework, quiz average, and module exam. The second standard is to receive an 80% or better on just the module exam. For example, student A gets 75% across the board, the student will pass. Student B gets a 50% on homework and attendance, a 65% on the quiz average, and a 75% on the module exam. Even though the module exam is above 70%, the other categories are not, and so this student will not pass. Student C did not show up to class, did not do any homework, did not take any quizzes, but passed the module exam with 90%. This student will pass the class, although we do not recommend this route, and very few students actually pass by module exam only. Before we close, I want to give you four quick tips for success in the foundational mathematics program at Nevada State College. The first is to show up to class and do your homework. This seems a little bit obvious, but it is something that you need to do. By showing up to class and doing your homework, you allow yourself a little bit more space for passing the module exam, which only needs to be passed at 70% if you show up to class and do your homework, whereas it needs to be passed at 80% if you don't. Talk to your instructor. At Nevada State College, we try to find and hire the best teachers we can. So if you have questions, talk to them, let them know where you're struggling, and then they will do their best to help you out. You can also get tutoring at the Student Academic Center. The Student Academic Center provides free tutoring to all Nevada State College students. The Student Academic Center has two locations. One location is in the LAS building, room 125. The other is in the Dawson building, behind the partitions in the middle of the Great Hall. The Student Academic Center provides both drop-in and scheduled tutoring. Lastly, study the practice exams. Even though the practice exams are not a part of the homework, they do provide you an excellent learning opportunity. The practice exams are longer than the actual exams, and we do this to make sure that you get a sufficient amount of practice on each type of problem that we might ask you on the test.